Hey everybody, we're going to go ahead and go through a quick review of punctuation. Um, I don't know why the screen is doing this. Just a second. Uh, that is what we want. Okay, so we're going to start with commas. And commas are a punctuation mark that you're going to use for separating things, making lists, separating clauses, um, certain phrases, adjectives, before quotes, etc. Um, so the sentence that we have here is my car a silver nitro is really big and you can see where I've inserted the commas to separate um, a phrase and then we have another example of making a list and it says I'm going to wear yellow white and black and the incorrect use is to the left and then the correct use is on the right and then we have periods. Um, periods are also known as a full stop and they're used at the end of a sentence to help signify when a new sentence or new thought process or new idea is beginning. And so we have these two sentences, I really like cheese, I really like cats. They're totally separate, totally unrelated, um, and we need those periods in between them to signify that. And then we have exclamation points, which are, which are used at the end of an exclamation or an interjection. Um, usually something high volume or, um, you know, with a lot of excitement. And so the sentence we have is, hey, come back, that's my car. If someone stole your car, you wouldn't say, hey, come back, that's my car. You'd yell it, hey, come back, that's my car. And that is what the exclamation point signifies. And then we have question marks. Um, interrogative questions, or I guess all questions are interrogative, but interrogative phrases, um, questions, or when you're just trying to figure out information or there's a lack of information, that's typically when you use a question mark. So, you know, like if you don't know the time, you're going to say, do you know what time it is? Um, and that's going to be a question, and so it's going to end in a question mark. All right, parenthesis, or parentheses, if we're going to talk plurals here. Um, parentheses are used to set apart uh, or interject another text and so here we have the sentence there are a lot of cats in the neighborhood especially on my block that need homes um, so the part in parentheses that's especially on my block is interjecting the sentence that we already have which is there are a lot of cats in the neighborhood that need homes uh, and again, if you need an example of correct use and incorrect use, the incorrect use of these punctuations are on the left and the correct use is on the right. All right, quotation marks. Quotation marks are used to identify that you're quoting somebody, um, or, you know, a phrase, a word. Uh, this is, you know, in text, you don't use quotes in your speech. Well, you don't use punctuation marks in your speech, but... All right, so the sentence is, my dad said, hey, get the car. Um, and so this is what it would look like properly uh, in, in text, maybe if you're writing an email or a paper, and this is the improper use. Uh, there are no quotation marks here. Semicolons, these are exciting. Um, semicolons can be used for several things. Um, it can be used to separate words of opposed meanings or um, to indicate interdependent statements. Um, so the example we have here is, I like to eat other people's food, however, I don't like to share my own food. So technically these are two separate sentences, but they kind of rely on each other. They're interdependent and that's why the semicolon is there. It wouldn't really feel or look right to write these with a period, um, and so that is why we have the semicolon. Brackets kind of work the same way as parentheses. Um, they are used to enclose a text, um, a certain amount of text, or to explain missing information or to interject. Um, here we have this awkward sentence, he is great at open hand, and then we have the, uh, the correct sentence, which is a clarifying sentence that says he is great at open hand martial arts. And inside of the bracket parentheses, um, we have the, um, the information that we're adding that was kind of missing before and then finally we have the dash um, which shows ranges or relationships and connections and so you can see here that this food will last two or three days it really needs the dash to make the connection that this food will last two to three days it's showing a relationship great